Right guys, sorry for that. Uh, I just needed to check whether there was anybody at my front door. <laughs> so, keeping it real. Um, so we've just seen the lovely Ramage, um, and that kind of leads me on neatly. There, there have got to be some styles, whether they're on the wish list or which literally, as soon as they come in, they come out. What oh, are your top? Yeah, top? Bayswater's. Waters. Yeah. Margaret, the Bayswater, of course. I, I think with a classic collect, you know, classic bag like that. Mulberry is renowned yeah. for the Bayswater. Wherever you go, that, that's what. I'm still really hankering after a um, new veg tanned oak printed one mm. but I've just acquired a Ledbury mm. and that sort of finish yeah we're pointing that's away. lovely um so I don't know whether I can justify buying a full size one as well well it depends I mean the, the base water is a bulky bag yeah don't get me wrong um and you know it's not for everybody if you're five foot or five foot one it's it's pro probably too big I'm five two so <laughs> Um, but having said that, you know, to wear for work, you can get all your files exactly. and everything in, you know, and a laptop or whatever, you know, you need to put in. It's a good size mm. bag. And I like the, I like the, the structure and the texture mm. of the leather as well. That's that right. It's, it's quite that's right. sturdy. That's right. Um, so I think that's what makes it such a good work bag but as I do well. think that because it's got a very good reputation as well, Mulberry, that it's, it's very, you know, all my Mulberries that I get in, they, they fly out. Mm. Um, basically, and um, the the other brand that flies out is my Chloe. Yeah, I, I never the Chloe's they um, they Ooh. they go. Um, a lot of those are going to um, America. Oh really? Mm. Got my Ramage here. So we've These got my Chloe's. Which oh, one's this? Yeah. Sorry, this one is the Marcy. This is the medium size Marcy. So there's one that's bigger than that as well. Yes, there's a larger one. But um, it's not with a strap. This has got a strap. Ah, so it's got the long strap fantastic. as well. So that's the medium. They do do the large, but it's mainly a tote. Yeah. So that's quite, you know, quite a big one. I've seen that. I, I had I never really looked at Chloe, but I love... And the leather. The, yeah. The leather. The texture this is very leather. similar to Mulberry in the fact that they're slouchy bags. Mm. Mulberry are renowned um, as being slouchy bags. And, um, and Chloe are exactly the same with this... This style, anyway. This is their bestseller. So that's the medium Marcy. That's the medium one. Oh, this this is, is the baby Marcy. Oh, it's such a gorgeous <laughs> colour, which I don't think you can see because it's... This it's, is like a pavement grey. Yeah, but it has an almost blue tinge to it. It has like a lilac. Yeah. And the good thing I like about Mul um, Chloe is that they don't do the same colour handles. They do a slightly different variation because it's twisted as well. Yeah. So they've used pebbled leather here. And they use calf leather for the handles. Smooth, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's like got a bluey tint, hasn't it? A lilac y tint. And that comes with um, that a That comes with a strap well. as well. And that's quite and that comparable just, to, yeah. I would say, to, to a mini Alexa, isn't it? Yes. Then? Yes. So, or even the small Delray as well. Yeah, the which actually Delray. I've got here yeah. as well. So I keep walking so into the So that's the mini picture, Alexa. And that is actually slightly Delray. bigger than the mini Alexa. Yeah. yeah. The small Delray is a bit wider. The, yeah. Uh, this is like a, a different. But um, yeah, this is very popular and that's as well. So that's bang up to trend at the moment. It's yeah. the 70s, isn't it? The yeah. satchel style yes. and that sort of yes. size. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that's a, that's a small. And they also do this size. You see, with the uh, Chloe, they, the mask is coming three different types. So you've got the the uh, satchel, which yeah. is the flap, the rounded one like this with a flap. And it all started as a horseshoe. Ah, oh, yeah. The of shape course. of a horseshoe. Very that's classic. the Marcy. Um, and then you do this one which is called the tote, double-handled tote. And they also do a hobo with one strap, All right. and it's a hobo design. But these, the Marcy is their most popular, as, long, as well as the Parity, and also the LC as well, which is... Um, I think I'm going to have to read up on my Chloe now. And that's got a flap with a long strap as well. But Such the thing I love colours. about Chloe are the colours. Yeah, they are beautiful. And the softest, softest leather that you can imagine. They're, they're just such... Um, simple. They're kind it's of, a very simple, clean I'm, design. I'm thinking the colours, they are like fun and a little bit... Um, yeah, they're, they're fun and cute, mm. but they're really grown up at the same time. Absolutely. And very simple and clean, as I mm. said. That's what I like about um, the, stitching the Chloe. Is lovely it's just that. clean. I don't know if you can, you know, understand what I'm saying, but it's a very clean cut. It's very coherent in yeah. the style. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. it, it follows those yeah. lines yeah. and that kind of... And Chloe are very good. I mean, they're not... 
a, a massive company. Um, you know, they're based in, you know, head offices in Paris. And um, they're, they're a really lovely company. I, I, I what are they like, with. customer service as well? Very like excellent, yeah. excellent. I had, a, I'll give you a, a funny story. I had a return, because I offer a 14-day return policy. It was actually this colour in this style, the double tote, the medium. So I had this in Veo Bob, and um, a lady returned it back to me, and the handle was sliced into two <gasps> when she returned it back to me. So anyway, to cut a long story short, I got in touch with Chloe, and they have um, said that they will redo the two handles for oh, me fantastic. for a small, a small yeah, charge, yeah, yeah, obviously, and I've said that I will pay for it, but um, rather than have a, a redundant bag, now yeah, I can yeah. get the handles oh, put on properly. So uh, yeah, their customer service is very, very That's good. That's good to know. Just let yeah. me... We'll pop it over here so we have a little... And so is Mulberry's customer service. Yeah, I have to say, so. I mean, I think it. Um, I've had sort of a little bit ups and downs, but they certainly redeemed themselves recently mm. with myself. And um, in terms of sending off stuff for repair items that are quite a few years old mm -hmm. and they can still source the right leather to do your piping and everything and it's actually not that expensive. But do you know what that, that's what you're paying for you're not just paying for the bag you're yeah. paying for all the aftercare service as well that's true that's yeah. the premium that you're paying and for me if you're not going to provide not I'm not this is very different to a warranty and a guarantee but if you're not going to provide that aftercare sales service even if it's five years old then you won't have my custom in the future, basically. True. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I don't have anything else to add, so <laughs> I'm just nodding. Um, so where were we? We were talking about popular designers. Um, so I think just I'd like to know a little bit more about your business in respect of um, we can find you um, on Facebook. Yes. We can I find have, you. That's right. At the moment, you still have an eBay shop? Yeah, I have a Facebook shop. I have an eBay shop, don't know how long that's going to stay there for, because we have my website being launched. Which is so exciting. Yeah, probably on the 5th of June, um, I'm hoping, if everything, you know, sticks to plan with the website developer. Um, but um, yes, that's going to be launched on the 5th of June. And, and it'll be a standalone website. It's a standalone, absolutely, it's an e-commerce business, so you can buy directly on there. The only thing you can't do is um, uh, negotiate prices with me, but you can <laughs> always email me and then, you know, we'll negotiate and then I'll change the price. Don't tell or... them now to negotiate. <laughs> it's your but business. No, no, but if they think that something... Nice. Yeah, if anything, but I do. If anybody thinks that it's too expensive, you can just slap my wrist and tell me. That's well, too expensive. You know, you know people are going to do that even if they don't. I think don't mind. Try. I don't mind. As long as it's accessible to the women, I don't mind well, at all. You're too lovely. It's fine. You're too lovely, Akila. <laughs> um, so watch this space. We're definitely going to um, link up with Akila when, when her new website launches to make sure that you all know about it. But um, she, she'd be announcing that for herself anyway. Very so. soon. Watch this space. Yes. Yes. And before, before we forget it, so... Generally, which designers do you carry? And I still look over there. So we've got Mulberry. Well, I have currently about 22 designers. So we so have... It's a long list then. Yeah, it's a long list. You would have to go to the website okay. to see. But it's everything from Anya High March to Yves Saint Laurent to you name it. Mulberry, I have we said. Louis Vuitton, yeah. we said. Dior, we said. Uh, McQueen, Dior is a very good one. Fendi. Fendi, we have. Um, and that's why I said to you that I don't have a favourite designer or one designer. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that all of these these bags represent my personality um, to people, and that uh, each and every one of them has got a little bit of me in, in them. Oh, that's so such that's a why bit. I think that that's why I don't stick to one designer. I could very well stick to Mulberry, but that's not me. <laughs> you know, I love that I'm a little bit. I'm of a bit more diverse. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I've really enjoyed this one as well. So um, I think I think I'm all wrapped up. I'm just thinking whether I've forgotten something. But it's been that great. Was so much. But so. if anybody ever you know wants to contact me, I have an open door policy anytime. Don't say that. That'd be 
Okay, that's your front as long, door, as, long as you know, I get time to sleep and look door. after my children. Virtually, then that's fine. you can email her. Don't turn up on her doorstep. <laughs> that's a bit too cruel. Oh, you can. We can have some afternoon tea and cakes. <laughs> right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope to see you soon. Um, maybe for more with Aquila. Maybe just um, myself the next time. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.